Hey everyone, it's Vince from Article Marketing Robot here. I noticed that there's a lot of complaints coming in about the database maximum size issue error. Um, for some people it's not shrinking the database, it just seems to be freezing up and failing. So, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to do it manually. Uh, first of all, the reason why this needs to be done is because if the database gets over two gigabytes in size, it starts to fail. This is a Microsoft thing. Um, it's primarily, well, it's a Microsoft Access thing, so obviously the database needs to be shrunk down. And the way the database is getting so big is that Article Marketing Robot is storing the HTML results it sees from either the sign-up or the submission process. So all those HTML results add up pretty quick. So you need to take care of this by going onto your C drive and going into documents and settings and then finding your user account, which in my case is Sniper, and then application data and then article marketing robot. Now this might be slightly different for Windows 7 and Vista because um, when you go documents and settings and you find your username, there might be a roaming directory. So you need to go into roaming and then uh, you'll find article marketing robot. Now if you can't even find the application data folder that means your your folder is hidden so you need to go into tools, folder options, uh, view and make sure that this hidden files and folders is show hidden files and folders that way uh, because the application data folder is hidden. The folder options for, X, uh, for Vista and 7 are in the control panel, so you'll have to go through the control panel in order to find the folder options. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is uh, edit the article marketing robot.mdb file. This is a Microsoft Access file, um, so if you don't have Access involved, you need to, uh, involved, installed, you need to install it before you can continue on. So, now you open up the database file. Uh, I'm just going to try and fit it in this tiny little window I got going on here. Um, highlight the accounts to sites and click the design button. By clicking that you open up, wow that's rather shrunk down, you open up uh, this little editor window. I'm recording in like 640 by 480 just so this is clear and concise but uh, you'll see that there's this HTML row. Highlight that, right click it, and click delete rows. Uh, what you're going to get is this message window that pops up. Click yes. So now it's going to be gone. X, X out of the uh, table and when it asks you to save click yes and then go back into that table and click design. Go down here and HTML. Now this is a data type memo field so cr create memo just like that. X out again click yes to save. Now if you go, uh, if you just double click the table you'll see a bunch of data inside of it and over on the very right hand side is the HTML column so it's now completely empty so that data is gone. Now the final thing you need to do is go into tools, uh, database utilities, compact and repair database and that's going to actually shrink your database down from 1.5 gigs to something like 136 megabytes. This process usually will take five or six minutes on a database that's really big but in my case my database is already compacted so it won't take too long. So there it's done. I'll just close the database and as you'll see it's 137 megs now instead of 1.5 gigabytes and that's how you take care of your database issues hopefully that helps and uh, have fun